Cave Chop by Martin Reed. Red. Reed, red. I'm going to go with Reed. But maybe it's red. I don't know. Game Hunter here. Hey, guys. And uh, we're playing a game on Linux. Wow. That took a rather long time to, to actually get going. I'm actually running this on uh, Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Something like that. And uh, it should be showing up just fine. So let's go ahead and just get started. It's really no different to you guys, even though it took me a few hours, I'd say, to get this all set up. But whatever, it's, it's cool. So now we get into the actual game playing part of things. So we got this game, it's called Cave Chap. And we just go ahead and check out our help. Uh, we got okay VI keys, good old Hijikable Yubin, uh, and then numpad, attack monsters and melee, doors do not have to be opened, and uh, use numlock. Thank you for reminding me. I've had more than my fair share of not remembering. Uh, okay, so we got rings, A to use bows, wear and take off armor, flasks, whew, okay, so this is somewhat NetHack-esque, or at least Rogue-esque, in terms of controls to remember. Uh, okay, picking up items is G, that's kinda nice. And then we got Activate Weapon Ring and Armor's Magical Powers, if there are any. I'll probably be checking out this thing every once in a while, so. Alright, Printing Inventory. Yeah, this is this is a Linux game. This is, um, this is what you would call, oh, Okay, so the, the ampersands are demons, and that's probably something to totally watch out for. So yeah, this is Cave Chop. Um, it's a game about, I guess, chopping caves. Oh, blasted. I need to get into a, Okay, there we go. That's a fairly okay position. Okay, rat's dead, and looks like the end is not smart enough to, uh, to go anywhere else. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, okay, we get a bow. So I now have a bow. Let's go ahead and see what we got in our inventory. And if you notice, it's not like we go to a separate screen or anything. It just literally prints it out on the console. For some reason, I thought that was going to be another door, like a, a place, a room to another area. But, uh, oh, darn it. Okay, thugs can, uh, ooh, have, thugs can be rough. Yes, indeed. Man. Okay, well, at least they're dead. <laughs> Let's look at what we got again. Iron ration. We got a dagger. Apparently, these things have, like, durabilities. That's that's what I'm guessing, anyway. Uh, wow. All right. <laughs> you gained a level for body and agility, and I guess you have to just let them know that you're doing something. Poison flask, healing potions. All right. Excellent. We are getting along just fine. So, uh... I mean, really, if you wanted to know about what a very basic, uh, like, good old having a grand time playing old school roguelikes, then yes, this is definitely that. At least as far as I can tell. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, this, this ought to be fairly okay position. Maybe this. Yeah, this will be better. Okay. And it looks like my HP is coming back every once in a while. It's somewhat surprising, but eh, whatever. Uh, killing the goblins. And then we get more stuffs. Two body, one agility. And I think these are rings. Yeah, these are rings. These are rings. Totally. Put on those rings. P. Or maybe, maybe it was a different button. Oh, capital P. Silly me. Uh, let's go fire. Fire sounds good. Oh, there's a little food counter, isn't there? I should probably be paying attention to these things. And there was a thug and the thug's dead because of my super awesome body attacks which is ideal super damage. Oh, okay. So my ring is doing stuff too. Which is good. And it looks like I have some regeneration as to my HP so I don't have to worry about constantly healing thyself. And uh, So if we look at our inventory we got stuff and we got more stuff. I have yet to find a new weapon, which is a little disconcerting, especially if I want to inevitably, uh, wow, 
The screen just keeps kind of reprinting itself. Oh, that was a bad elf. That was a bad elf. As opposed to good elves. Gaining fire resist. Oh, so when I level up, I gain... How does this work again? Capital E. Your current attire. And the other one was M? Yeah, all right. Just checking. So I got that stuff. Okay, good. And I got another dagger. Excellent. Teleport scroll restoration potion, which is... I don't know, maybe for the ability to restore stamina or... Ooh, boy, it's a goon. Goons apparently take damage. Ooh, boy. Wow, okay. Well, it's a good thing I had my ring doing what it was. Doing. Um, okay, so you can only have one ring on at a time. Let's go ahead and put on the frost ring. Hopefully, this means that... Um, you know, I have no idea. Let's, let's take a look at... Um, is there a way to kind of look at stuff? Examine an item you are carrying. Yes. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. It also allows walking on water. Well, isn't that just fancy? All right. With the power, yes. Okay. Protects wear, yes. Gotcha. But I'm going to guess that, oh, I'm going to guess that I take damage over time. <laughs> um, so I got this food and I got the level up I'm just wondering that if when I level up I get permanent uh, resistance oh I got two rings now okay um, just kill this goblin for whatever uh, yes indeed maybe I should what is eh, my battle gown ball gown excuse me a battle ball gown that's my power right now and the goblin's dead. Another frost ring, a chain mail. It doesn't seem like there's any issue with carrying too much stuff. Well, the exception, of course, being that you don't really want just a bunch of crap in your inventory. So, but that aside. Okay, I'm still alive. That's good. Still, wow, that zombie. Zombie's got a lot of HP. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I have like no HP left. That zombie really did a number on me. Maybe I can just kind of wait it off. In fact, let's go ahead and eat something edible like this dried fruit. Oh wow. Wow. That was a lot of food right there. Um, that guy was able to deal a lot of damage to me. So let's go ahead and play Ring Around the Rosie. You know what? Let's not play Ring Around the Rosie. Let's uh, go ahead and what? Oh, I guess I have to equip, um, wield? There we go. Um, bow. And then we can go ahead and use that. Do some damage that way. Let's try this out just for, man, I missed him quite, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Um, so what we got, we got dagger. The bow has yet to undurabilize. Oh, <laughs> long sword. Long sword. That means I want to wield it all the time. Get some. Uh, I should be a little more careful with myself here. Just a tiny bit. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. And maybe I should equip, um, let's see, remote. No, not the ring, not the ring. Let's go ahead and put that back on. Uh, I think it's T. Yes, capital T. We're taking off armor. Let's go ahead and drop that. Uh, up one item per spot on the ground. That is, I believe, also somewhat typical. Well, at least in very old school games where you don't really have enormous amounts of inventory to worry about, even though that's exactly what I have right now. But it's a little different. It's a little different. Hey, okay, there we go. Much better. All right, I am in a good position right now. And I got a level. Sweetness, sweetness. Teleport scroll, killing thugs. Mundane robes sound not particularly good. Uh, poison flat. Oh, whoa, okay, so pack can fill up. My pack can fill up, meaning I want to drop a bunch of crap I don't actually need. So let's go ahead and do that part. Uh, let's see, I only need one ring each, I imagine. Um, regarding mundane robes, sounds like it might be good for spell casting, but 
Uh, it's probably just a crap piece of armor. So let's go ahead and take the poison flask and get some uh, restoration stuff. And <coughs> excuse me, more poison flasks and bad elves. I need to be aware of my HP, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to stick to the dagger right now unless I have to deal with... Leather armor is probably not as good as chain mail. So let's go ahead and keep that up then. Another long sword, excellent. Which probably means I should just use this one, uh, yes, and then get rid of the other dagger. Because I have more than enough durability to deal with this. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of enemies. I mean, if I can kill them fairly quickly in succession and stuff, and snakes that hopefully don't poison me or any... Plate armor. Plate armor. It is the man's armor. Uh, let's take off that. You cannot drop something you're wearing. Duh. <laughs> uh, do, do, do. And then this. Okay, there we go. Just in time to go ahead and annihilate somebody. So, yeah, this is. Um, I mean, if you remember Random Realms, this is. Oh, good. I leveled up. Thank goodness for me leveling up there as opposed to dying. Dying is never a good thing. So, uh, the ice monster launches a blast. Well, he's not going to hit me from there, is he? Yeah, he's not going to hit me from there. Uh, let's go ahead and just wield our bow and, and try to shoot him from afar, I guess. And we're going to play the... Ooh, my ring flash is blue, which, which means he totally didn't hurt me there. Ha. Huh. Am I going to hit this guy at all? Like, maybe... There we go. I can deal damage to him. But it's not really a lot of damage, and just kind of this whole spamming words in my face. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and move to the longsword and just kind of attack him normally until he dies. Because that bow, that bow just did not feel like work. Mace, it's a mace. It does mace like things. Um, that's. Probably the sum of it. Ooh, round of elven waybread. Uh, what can I get rid of at this point? Good question. A good question. Um. Oh, whatever. Oh, let's see. Let's just take a look at my inventory. I guess I could drop a poison flask. Uh, I think those are one piece at a time. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't. I don't think it matters regarding certain things. Uh, but but let's just continue on. Yes, let's continue through the perilous journey of this place. The goon looks healthier by doing... He didn't say what happened, but I guess something happened, and there you go. So I need to definitely be aware of the possibility of, of fire monsters. And this goon, this goon was kind of incredibly painful as is this battle right here um it's probably a quaff of potion um let's see what we got restoration this potion makes you feel warm all over that's not what i needed i needed healing there we go so oh it seems very possible for me to take a good amount of damage here so i need to would the rats stop being healthy, you know? Not cool, guys. Not cool. And you're a wolf. A woof. Oh, darn it, wolves. And how come you keep getting healthy, guys? Is it just regeneration sort of dealio? Yeah, they're looking healthier. What's up with that? I need to look healthier, too. So I'm just going to go spam my button. It's going to drop my food quite a bit, but whatever. It's all for the sake of eventually killing this guy. Hopefully, without dying. Okay, there we go. Fee you. Um, let's go ahead and eat our parcel of dried fruitiness. And then, yeah, the ability to spam weight's quite nice. Quite nice. It's uh, even roughly pretty pretty good. Okay. Um, no, no. Let's take off the armor. Let's go ahead and... Wear the plate mail, because I totally have this plate mail that I have as a backup now. So, crossbow, that's 
You think that's better than a bow? I bet that's better than a bow. Just a plain old fashioned bow. Restoration potion. Teleport ring. Cool beans. Uh, mundane. Oh, okay. I guess something happened. <laughs> Whoops. Wasn't paying attention enough. Um, I guess question is mace better than longsword? I don't know, but I guess I'll just start using it and see what happens. And keep another one around just in case. Oh, let's go ahead and get ourselves into a decent position here. Decent, I say, but not perfect because there's still pretty significant damage to be to be expected here. So, okay, the wolf's dead, and we can attack the ice monster. Yeah, I'd say that I'm doing better, probably with this uh, weapon. Oh, good, level up again. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, I don't know, whatever. It's exclamation points for the ability to exclaim that I am going to get healed or whatever. Plate armor, plate armor, armor. Man, lots of those, huh? Lots of those. I, was that that was basically the whole level though, right? Is there anything else to get? Silly teleport rings. I don't need you just yet. Okay, thug it up. Ice mon. Yeah, there haven't been fire monsters. That's it's weird. Okay, I probably don't want to fight two at once. So there we go. Much better. And we got the way bread. Way breads. It's like uh, bread of the of of made of way. And the courage of regen ring regen it's a regeneration for those who do not feel like waiting forever now I just need a food ring and then I'll be set for life if only food rings existed either here or in the real world man food ring I'd spend a life supply of fortune on that that's it's pretty much worth everything all the time oh man Food ranks. Couldn't make, making me hungry is what's going on there. Alright, just kill you, thug man, and rats and goblins. It's kind of hoping for more um, enemies. So far, it's just kind of been the same old. Okay, so what do we got? Wow, that mace. That mace is almost dead. So let's go ahead and wield the longsword instead. Drop Mr. Mace and uh, pick up this mace. Yeah, okay, much better. Mucho better. And I suppose, is this anything that's good or perhaps new? Protection scroll. That's, that's friggin' not something I can pick up at the moment. Um, let's go ahead and just eat the last parcel of dried fruit. Doesn't seem like there's any reason not to kind of use it immediately. I don't know if there's a maximum, but it could very well be an issue. I don't know. Oh boy, it's a cyber demon. I mean a centaur. But at least it's a centaur that's already dead. Uh, the hunter's trying to hunt me down. He probably got like a ranged weapon, but it doesn't really matter because I just kind of totally annihilated him regardless. So, oh, whoa, whoa. I can walk on water, which is the ability of frozen uh, rings. And I'm taking serious damage against this guy. Is it because he's near the water or what? Um, don't know. Point is, I'm just going to, I guess, wield this crossbow just to try to shoot you. I swear, this, these bows are useless. But nothing works very well with them. Okay, much better. Do, do, do. Long sword mace time. Mace man. Oh, really? Come on. You know what? I'm just going to... Uh, um, that really wasn't working. I don't, I don't know why it wasn't. But uh, I guess I can just try another health potion. And now he's dead. Whatever. That, that really figures. But, you know, life goes on. Agility potion. Let's go ahead and just quaff that immediately. Get some free agile tea. Um, apparently my body's gone down for whatever reason. Maybe from snakes. That's really the one thing I would expect it from. How is my plate armor holding up? Oh, wow. My plate armor is already dead. <laughs> well, well then. How do I not notice that stuff? There we go. Much better. 
So there's that, and there's that, and we've already been playing for, well, nearing 20 minutes now. And that would be impossible to get through if not for, for frost water. So that's always important. It's always very important. Sometimes you do well, and sometimes you don't. And, well, I don't know. You are a duelist. Duelists are nasty, I guess. And, uh, very nasty. Oh, whoa, 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 I took damage. Really die? No. What? Okay. Sure, why not? Why not? And you can walk through walls. Not cool, man. Not cool. Please tell me this duelist is close to... Okay, finally. Duelist died and you're a wraith. And, um, yes. That's, that's how that goes. Man, these duelists are gonna be nasty. All right, plate armor's looking good. Mason hands looking good. Maybe we can kill this duelist without dying in the process. Okay, cool, excellent, excellent. Robe of swiftness. Um, sure, why not? I don't, I don't really use crossbows after all. Uh, take off that and put on the robe of swiftness, which I don't know. Maybe it doubles my movement or something. Kind of looks like that's what's happening. It also has a lot of defense, so really, why not carry it around? Uh, just go ahead and quaff that. I mean, really. You're a troll. God, I hate trolls. Um, this looks like a job for putting on the fire ring. So that I can burn you. Burn! Burn! Come on. Burn it. Burn it all. There we go. Much better. That is how it is done. Because, well, ooh, mage armor. Mage armor. Um, I'm really just <laughs> enjoying the the picking up stuff, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and wear it. That is super duper amazing armor right there. Uh, is that also mage armor? Not quite. Not quite. Let's go ahead and eat some amazing bread. Amazing bread. How sweet the taste. Um... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think this is a good showcase of the game. So, I mean, what else is there to do at this point but just kind of maybe get killed? Looks like I'm not getting killed because I am, my mage armor is just too incredibly amazing. Uh, but it is getting worn out fast. Well, that's, that's very true. So I'd probably want to switch to something else for the time being. That's crossbow, that's just a normal bow. Uh, yeah, I'm more or less at this point just kind of saying things as I find them without really examining and, and stuff like that. So it's probably good to call it here. Uh, I guess if you run Linux, um, yes, go ahead and play this. As far as I understand, there's no, there's no Windows binaries for it, so... Uh, yes, this has been Game Hunter playing Cave Chop. And join me next time when we take a look at another 7-day roguelike in the year 2012. And until then, keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.